Today's lesson is about nuclear bombardment or fission. We're going to see how to uh, break up a nucleus. And to do this today, we're going to use a FET simulation. And I'm going to show you how to do this. You can actually do this at your uh, at your house. You can open up uh, any old browser window. I'm using Firefox. And I'm going to go to a Google search bar, and I'm just going to type in the four letters P-H-E-T, FET. <clears throat> First link that comes up here, free online physics, chemistry, biology, or science. There's all sorts of simulations that you can play with. So if you click on play with sims here, it's going to pop up a whole bunch of them. And these cover the whole range of a lot of different sciences and even some math. But we're going to click on the chemistry one. And scroll down to nuclear fission and you can either download this applet it's all free or you can just run it through a Java uh, window if you have Java installed uh, you can just click OK and it's going to take uh, it, for you it might take a little longer than this because I actually already downloaded it uh, but it only takes a few seconds in any case and it's going to start up on its own here in a minute alright so here we have a uranium-235 nucleus now a uranium-235 nucleus is not what we would necessarily call completely stable but it uh, it will last a while and in this picture what we have is a gun and that gun has a neutron and so what we're going to do is we're going to see what happens when we shoot the nucleus with a gun and there's a uh, potential energy diagram on the bottom which we you don't really need to look at right now as, as an intro thing but if you would like to look at that you can but I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the gun and we'll see what happens So now we can see that the whole thing blew up. All right. So if we reset that and watch it again, um, we can kind of see first of all what happens, and I can pause it and talk about it throughout. So as soon as the neutron hits it, I'll pause it. You can see that now it's not uranium-235 anymore. It's 236. It weighs one more because we added a neutron to it, but it's still uranium because we did not change how many protons it has. Uranium has 92 of those, and it's. Uh, if you can look down at the energy diagram, if you want, you can see that it's not stable. It's it's jumping up. It was down here in this low energy where it likes to be, and now it's kind of bouncing around up here. And so, what happens is there's a stability with the nuclei that is brought about by the ratio of the protons and neutrons. And once that ratio gets disturbed a little bit. Um, it's no longer stable and it doesn't want to stick together like that anymore and so if I go ahead and pl hit play again you can see that eventually it will break apart and so I pause it as it's breaking apart and you can see as it breaks apart there that we have uh, two different uh, nuclei come off as well as three neutrons and so this is what we are talking about whenever we talk about neutron bombardment of a nucleus. You shoot a nucleus with, uh, it could be with a neutron, it could be with something else, but you could shoot it and uh, if you can get that thing to stick into the nucleus then uh, that can bring instability and it can break apart on its own. And this is what we uh, call nuclear fission. This is how fission works. You've probably heard of fission before. And apparently we have a staff meeting, so I'll come back and show you how to write these equations here in a minute. 